five after nine. Time for the glorious motion. Taking the belly roll ride. It's green, move it! <laughs> Fair weather, friends. Who were they? Hitchhikers, officer. Take those off. Licence, certificate of insurance. Did I ask you for the logbook? You've no idea why we stopped you, have you? No. That's your job. But I'm not minding. Hogarth. George Hogarth. One, two, three, four. Hog. What? My friends call me Hog. Don't get funny, Hogarth. Those two friends, what do they call you? You'll be charged twice. Exceeding the speed limit and causing an excessive noise. You'll nearly burst our noise meters. It would be a pleasure to pay, officer. You see, I was born on a bomb site, officer, and I never knew my mother. Moira? What is it? Is Singleson still with you? Eleven. All right, I'll come around then. And listen, you're not to worry. Your father's still safe from Lennox, at least for another fortnight. Us? Well, at least you get a good view from the top of a volcano, don't you? Let me see. Singleton will be here any minute. I got these from the front of house manager at the Peccadillo, taken yeah. in 1967. Yes, he'll serve. Get them away now. Get your prints off them. Can't, no. Mr. Singleton? Lunch today. Who cancelled? Them or us? I cancelled. A meeting with Sontag and Bonetti was premature. To what? 
to Mr. Gould's release from prison. Any realignment with our former American interest needs our chairman with us, don't you agree? Exploratory. Exploratory meeting. That's all it was. Now, Benetti has not long. He's expecting to be deported next week. And he can go. If he's not capable of avoiding routine home office interest, I, for one, don't want to deal with him. <clears throat> what can he offer us? Only a syndicate that stretches from Pittsburgh to San Francisco. You always were easily impressed, Singleton. We have our parochial concerns. A young man called Hogarth has disrupted our arrangements for Mr. Gould's release, or had you forgotten? I've ordered Ryan to meet us here at 12.15. I think we should both attend in order to discuss the necessary adjustments with Ryan. Noise meter! You let the law get hog on that? When he did that to that? You let them get him with a toy box? How could we know? Because I pay you to know! Give me patience. What? Call you what? What did I call you? I didn't call you nothing. What? When? Why can't you make yourself bloody clear, Spice? <laughs> that. Poncy little Chelsea Teeley. Look, Hogg doesn't do what you expect him to do. He's never where you expect him to be. He's never anywhere. He was in Bayswater this morning and you missed him. Bloody Scott Yanks on my back. 12.15. They'll want to know. There's big money involved. What are we going to tell them? Gould can't be sprung. Our key man's in hospital with half a mile of bandage round his bloody face. His stupid face. 15,000 we screwed Scott Yanks for. We've only had 10% of it. What about the rest? Will they pay with him here? He can't even eat his bleeding grapes. Scott Yanks will have to wait till the spice is better. I'll go in themselves and God help them. What's too few more days to Gould? He's inside there for 20 years. Spicer doesn't appreciate you calling him stupid. Neither do I, for that matter. It was his face, not him. Who can help his face? And I was going to retire next month. Oh, you'll retire, Ryan? Christmas time, you'll be sitting on your patio on the Costa Brava, figuring out how to get 15% of the sun. Huh. But you better ease up or you'll take an ulcer with you. Any more complaints and he'll go in the public ward. Ackerman? What about him? That's his question. Well, you tell him. You know as much as I do. Scott Yanks employ him. And they employ everybody. They do? Which was why he was trailing Hogg the night you got your face melted. Ryan, if Scott Yanks are employing Ackerman to trail Hogg, perhaps it's as well we didn't pick the boy up this morning. If Scott Yanks are interested in him. Yeah. Yeah, could be. But we still get Hogg after we've seen them. Ackerman doesn't like working with Scott Yanks. Who does? No, but the whisper is they've got something on him. Something he did in the Congo. Something that could get him shot. Which is why he drinks so much. Did you hear all that? Me. I think. Has he gone? He can be seen here. It's convenient. What is? That your keeper keeps regular office hours. Well, he leaves that behind to peep at us. You talk when you're drunk and you talk when you're hungover. What do you do when you're sober? What is it? Do I taste foul? Yesterday was bad. Even I noticed. I should never have come to you for help. My father was right. No outside help. No help that needs paying. Money. If I asked you for money, Scott Yanks pay me. Oh, God, my father's certain to die. Lennox will kill him. And you? And me? No, no. It... All of us. My father, you, me. Will you care? Will you notice? 
You'll be drunk. I may not be. We've been given a chance, a, a gap between what was and what can be. Can it, have we? Can you make it true? Yes, I can. I, I can. Stop. I've got some news. Your father, not his peeping substitute who's given you so much, a turbo jitted kitchen and a foam rubber bed. No, no, you, your real father is safe for two more weeks. Lennox can't kill Gould yet because Hogg, remember Hogg? Through acid, you saw it, in the face of the man ordered to organize your father's escape. So it's been postponed, has to be. And Gould is safe from Lennox for the moment, which gives us time. Oh, I want to believe you, I do. Please, God, let me believe you. Hold me so I can. So I can be certain, quite certain, that you won't be cross-eyed somewhere. I'm drying out, I told you. Don't help me now. You gave me hope. I even promised myself I'd break free. And once more, I remembered I promised. That was you. You. Three years Lennox has had me by the scruff. Don't think about Lennox, or Singleton, or your father. It's here, in this, the chance lies. Please, yes. Yeah, bloody yeah. You have? Where? Well, move in and collect. Yeah. Get up west. Rollins Street. Hog. And you get him this time, even if he's talking to the Home Secretary. I want him back when I'm back. Well, I was back to square four anyway. How do you like your hog, Spicer? Grilled or fried or casserole? I'm looking for cufflinks. Chunky. Gold. Yes, sir. Modern or traditional? Our trad is trad. Edge. It's trad. Hog. Here. Good morning. Uh, sir, uh, can I help? Yes. I'm looking for cufflinks. Gold. Something a bit heavy so my cuffs stay up. Oh, yes, sir. Modern or traditional? Let's start with traditional and work forward, shall we? These are modern. All right, we'll work backwards. I think I've got just the answer. Don't fancy these. But don't dismiss those, sir. Some of them are very lovely pieces. Miss Edgeworth will show you. Him? Mmm, lunchtime. <laughs> don't tell me you fancy it. No, oh, please, he fancies me. His wife prefers public relations to him. He keeps the keys in his left-hand pocket on the chain. How do you work it? I shall get his trousers off. I don't like it. Do I? We need the last fork key. You got the wax? These give a very solid impression. Yes, I, I quite like. And as I'm absolutely certain you'll like these. You make it very difficult. I was just getting to fancy these. He uh, should compare them. Don't you agree, Miss Edgeworth? Well, I like both. Well, then I have both. How much? Uh, these are 65 guineas, sir, and these are uh, 45 guineas. Hundred and fifteen pounds, ten shillings. Oh, yes, sir. Cash or check, sir? Cash. With a check, I'd have to wait, wouldn't I? I'm afraid so, sir, until we know you better. I never wait. I need them for tonight to bring me luck. A particular occasion? Oh, excuse me, sir. The Lady Erin of Pew. 
Well, good luck with that. I'll close my eyes and pretend it's you. You'd better notice the difference. Well, at least you're in it for the bread, aren't you? Like you. already accepted that some delay is inevitable and now expects to be released on the 17th. But at our last meeting, we agreed. You agreed that the whole basis for this kind of spring was the one final man working on the last stage. The one screwdriver to undo the screw. Oh, be serious, Ryan. I am. Spicer was all ready to go up to Loughborough when that bleeding young anarchist... Hogarth's beside the point. Is he? You want Spicer up there with a bloody great bandage round his face? When I get Hogarth... Leave Hogarth. He interests us, too, a very promising young man, who is now our concern. I won't have your people trampling all over him. Haven't I even got the no, right... No, haven't. You're busy. Your organisation will continue to make all arrangements for the 17th. Your objections have been recorded. We assume that the doctor was professionally cautious. Now, if, nearer the date, it is still evident that your key man is indisposed, you will take his place. And we'll supply any extra expenses this will entail. I needn't have spoken, need I? No. As an incentive, you have only to recall what the price of failure will be for you. Yes. You may go, Mr. Ryan. Hmm. Oh, card, no. Sir? Are uh, we having a working lunch? I want our, the minutes of our last meeting with Monton Meckles. I'll be in my office. Singleton can wait, Cardinal. I need you too. Ink, red, and a dip pen. I'm supposed to be watching Hog all this time for Lennox. What did I tell Lennox? No, I wasn't watching Hog. I stopped off here to comfort you. Or was it me? Perhaps I do tell him it. I feel almost sober enough. No, no, you mustn't oh, risk. He's had a noose around my neck for three years. Not yet. You're not. What? Right, I'm not rung out enough yet. I don't want you hurt. I'll be careful. Have it practice. Back on Sentry Girl. For bloody Lennox. Superstitious goose pimples. Whoever we choose to kill Mara and Singleton, it must look like the work of an unbalanced mind. Never mind what the medics say. Never mind that you've had a major facelift. Never mind till yesterday you was fed through the arm. 
Scott Yank say you're to be ready by the 17th, or else I go and get ghouled out. That's what I said, I told him. What do you think I am? Lennox. Singleton's a hole in the air. It's Lennox, your watch. That pig-eyed snake. I wasn't shouting, I was telling you! Yes, bloody yes! It's okay. We've got Hogg by the short and curlies. A blown-out boutique in Shepherd's Bush. Hogg's operating from the basement. Now look, I've got Pritchard with me. I'm moving in. No. Hold it. Hold what? He can't get out. There's no rear exit. We've checked. It's a straight walk in and walk out. Shane's got to pick up a motor. No, and still no. Why? Bloody why? Because bloody Scott Yang say so, that's bloody why! I... I, uh, I was in conference with them this morning. They was most insistent. I can't hear you. Ryan, why have you gone faint? Ryan! You are to come back. Is that clear? Just, uh, just make a note of the address and, uh, Okay, I heard you. It's no. We wear our feet out trying to find him, and the answer is no. Scott Yanks say no, so Ryan says no. Did you see who went in? When? Just now. No. Eberhardt. You sure? I'd recognize that little bastard anywhere. Hog buys only the very best. He goes to a jewellery shop this morning. And now Eberhardt. What did I pay, Mr. Eberhardt? Sixty. Sixty-five. Should have come to me. I have now, haven't I? And I'm getting it back. Tonight. Then Dinsky's have some very pretty things. Like 70,000 quid's worth of stock? You won't be able to take it all. Why not? We've got all night. They're a well-known firm with well-known stock. And take their rubies. I intend to. They can't be sold. Even I couldn't. OK. I'll wear them. Rubies are scarce nowadays. Any new ones on the market invite attention, questions? Mind you, Mendinsky's have some nice examples. Rome. You might be able to sell them in Rome. Not Paris anymore, not since the students bust the economy. But the tariff's cruel. Cuts the price by two-thirds. That's our price, not a legitimate market. I'm glad you know your job, Grandad. I don't think I'd have employed you otherwise. Any of the metals are easy, of course, and we can reshape their diamonds. Great. Tell me when we get there. I'm to come with you. Oh, yeah, Grandad. With me, we all work. You don't like Brahms? <laughs> I've wanted you ever since you first came to Mandinsky's. And now you're getting me. Well, yes, I suppose. Yes. Oh, we still have time. You say you want me. You don't need another drink? No, you're not that dreadful. <laughs> and anyway, I take my kicks one at a time. Why well, confuse the issue? My wife. Your wife is in public relations. You don't really want to talk about her, do you? No. It's just that I... Just nothing. Me. For the moment. While you've got me. Yes. Yes. 
It's so simple with you. Is it? Yes. I'm, um... I'm afraid our insurers insist, sir. Either we install the electronic security system or they refuse to underwrite us. It costs five times our present annual insurance. No, six times, actually, sir. But if you care to examine their brochures, the system has two functions. First, to secure the outer perimeter, exterior doors, windows, and what have you. And secondly, the uh, inner stronghold. Sort of double chastity belt. <laughs> yes, sort of. Now, all link circuits are supplied by the GPO and are indistinguishable from phone cables. Power is standard supply. Furthermore, all these points are linked to our nearest police station. Enough of that, miss. Show Mr. Eberhardt the full deal, Grange. Miss Edgeworth obtained this too? Photostat copy of their new security system, taken from the original drawing. She borrowed the original for half an hour, one lunchtime. Mm. Lunch is her busiest time. <laughs> is that a joke? The brochure mentions two cameras mounted in a vault. Yeah. This one circuit controls both. The master switch is in the basement, so... Still looks too secure to me. This system assumes a head-on attack. Do that and you have bells ringing from West End Central to the Old Bailey. But the shop still has to open each morning without jerking the Lord Chief Justice out of his pit, doesn't it? For that, all you need, like the manager, is keys. Now, we've got every key but one. Keys to here, 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 there, and there. This Edgeworth. Yeah. This key, this one, and this one fit locks that are connected to the circuit after business hours. An automatic time switch here releases the street doors at five to nine each morning. But we can cut them any time here in the road. Then Hogg goes in as if he was the manager. <laughs> there is still one key you haven't got. <laughs> the third and last to the vault. We're getting it. It's a real problem, isn't it? Suppose you made burglar alarms. You've got to sell them. So you've got to tell the customer how they work or he won't buy, will he? So it cuts both ways. Uh, all you do is read the ads. Me. Yeah? Hi. It's Edge. You did? She's got it, the third key. Yeah? <laughs> so what was he like? Quite good. <laughs> Reminded you of me? Scott Yanks said no. Scott Yanks told you no. A few years ago, nobody ever told you anything. Do I forget? You wouldn't have taken it, not then. You'd have gone ahead, come whatever. We had Hog. Shh. He needs his sleep. So do I. You getting tired all of a sudden? I've been tired ever since Scott Yanks came down from Glasgow. Seven years tired. And now you want that 15,000 so badly you'll crawl for it. Yeah. It's my pension. Good God. Is. I told them I wanted a hog. I told them Spice wasn't fit. They don't listen. You think I like it? Do you think I know? You've moved faster seven years ago. But I didn't. 
We underestimated Scott Jenks. I didn't. Okay. I did. What's gone's gone. And Hog gets a free pardon. Yeah. To do Mandinsky's. Mandinsky's? He was in there this morning. His girlfriend works for them. And later on, he saw Eberhardt. Eberhardt? And Eberhardt never handles anything less than 50,000. I didn't think Hogg was professional enough to get his outlet tricks first. And it seems he is. So? We go in. Straight after. Well, you're not to know what I'm up to, are you? Third time, very lucky. No. No. I didn't hear you say that. Is. What motor was Raymond getting for us? Wanted a grey jag. Whatever Raymond wants, Raymond takes. The traditional getaway wagon. You should have worn a striped jersey. in person. No, you're not. I am, and I have to. My job. And then we'll be free. At least, you will be. Not yet. You can't. I must. Must. Three years working for Scott Yanks for killing two men to save 14, and still the 14 died. God, they forced me to dig their graves. Lennox used this. Used me. I must be free. No. Too many minutes. Yes. And then I'll collect you. And have your keeper's withered arms. Goodbye. One of those learn to dance places. We're supposed to be ex directory. I told him to forget it. I just thought you'd want to know. Ah, they'll never make it. Give them a chance.
enough for you? Not yet. I'm not late, am I? No. Is that Greenwood? Waiting in the lobby. I don't want to talk to him. You brief him ready for when Ackerman reports. Fetch 30,000 and a lot of publicity last year at Christie's. The night's breach brought you. On our way home. Waiting for.
inside. I had to do this once before, didn't I? Mr. Lennox is expecting you. You only get this sort of luck with me. Victoria. Nobody gets that much luck. Hog does. Hold it. Ryan again. What did he do that for? Kicks and for us. Mandinsky's alarm? Well, I wouldn't know about that, would I? We'll see. Was that a joke? Setting off the alarm? Yeah. Couldn't your nerves stand it? If they were I on the men in that car, that's it. No, no, Dad. They saw me get too much tonight. I'm in business now. I'm the big breadwinner. And who's gonna grass? on his next employer. Yes? Three branches of the same firm. One of Ryan's men in the vicinity. Who? Izzard. Hold him. Maybe this is just the chance we've been waiting for. No. We're taking over. Could be Ryan working for Scott Yanks. Oh, I realize that Ryan has never bothered with gems before. Seems a bit brash for a Scott Yanks job. Don't you agree? Hold his out. New job for you. Mr. Singleton and her. Her name is Gould, Mara Gould. I shall provide you with a large number of such photographs of her. A double killing. And the photographs are to be left near the bodies. They've been prepared in this way in order that the deaths appear to have been caused by an insane person. 
You, Ackerman. 